So if you're a first responder and you're trying to rely on cellular-based technology for your response, you're gonna have problems. Uh, maybe not always, but the odds are, as soon as you hit a certain threshold of people, you're gonna have a problem. So the feds realized this a long time ago, that this is an issue, and they started adopting Manet radios, specifically silver streamcaster radios, for those surveillance projects many years ago. Silvus came out of DARPA with a primary mission of doing RF in denied environments. And all we do is focus on data. Tether drones are not bound by a power limitation. Most conventional drones are limited by the size of their battery. Our drones are powered by a tether, that, uh, a power tether that comes from the ground. In most situations, as long as you have persistent ground power, the drones can stay up indefinitely. So the Streamcaster radios uh, come in two different flavors. We have a, a two antenna model called the SC4200, and there's a four antenna model called the SC4400. Most of our radios sold are dual band radios. We have our own waveform. It's a MIMO technology, multi-in, multi-out. And what that allows you to do is each antenna is both a transmit and receive. So the same data packets are sent out over those antennas. So we're able to get a really high throughput, highly reliable, and get it to really weird places. Most high-speed uh, voice and data radios, modern handheld radios that the military, federal law enforcement, and first responders use, uh, are they operate in what's called line of sight. Well, one of the ways of guaranteeing success is height. So, you know, height is your friend when it comes to RF technology. Um, and we may not be able to get above a tree line. We may not be able to get um, above uh, rooftops. So having a variable height antenna from Hoverfly in your uh, tier one command bus um, is critical. Hoverfly has uh, two main products right now, and our base product is called Sentry. It's a, a powered tethered drone that can carry two pounds of payload to 200 feet. Spectre is basically the same size as our base product, uh, but can carry five, almost five and a half pounds. So the difference there is that our base product can carry one payload, either a radio payload or a, a camera payload. Overfly Spectre brings a great capability to users that allows them to be able to, to carry dual payload, two radios or a radio and a uh, camera payload. But you start looking at tornadoes or hurricanes. We've had areas of the country that have been impacted for weeks and even months where they've had no comms from a public safety perspective. Um, so when they go out on, on calls, they've switched to a peer-to-peer -peer mode on their radios, it's called simplex mode, and that causes um, officer safety issues, but also we, you can't call in additional resources if needed because uh, they can't hit a dispatch center anymore. And there isn't a cellular infrastructure in place yet, even when they bring in portable towers, they still don't have the bandwidth to accommodate all the people that are trying to call home to mom and let them know they're okay, as well as all the 911 calls that are coming in. And then you have the normal operational parameters that law enforcement or the fire services is actually doing. Mm. So with Silvis radios, you know, we can go in, set up what we call a tactical bubble and provide that perimeter around that particular infrastructure that they're responding to. And with, you know, when these types of radios are paired with multiple uh, tethered drones, you can, you can create nodes and very, very quickly create a, a first responder voice and data network over a natural disaster area. Being able to have a variable height antenna on the back of a pickup truck that I could quickly deploy with that generator um, to get 200 feet up. Watching a neighborhood that was evacuated, somebody is in a patrol car that is with an eye shot of that aircraft, but they're not out in the elements and then the video stream can be brought back to the operations center. And now we can not only provide uh, video surveillance capabilities, watching evacuation routes, um, what uh, neighborhoods have been evacuated looking for looters. They could actually zoom in with a gimbal on the, the VHA and be able to see if it needs to be have a manned response to go in for it. So Silvis makes a great product line of radios. The first responders, DOD, uh, federal law enforcement use are very, very capable. Everything's about data transfer and communications now. That's, that's what drives mission success. 
when you put one of these radios on a Hoverfly tethered drone system. So that becomes a real outstanding uh, solution during disaster response. The technology surprises you. 